Good morning YTPC, Northeast Piper UK here and it's an absolutely glorious Sunday morning here and I hope everybody in the States is having a, a great holiday weekend. I am smoking my Great British Design Bulldog and in it I have got some brown aromatic flake. Um, I picked up a small sample of this last month at the pipe meet and I really enjoyed it so I got myself uh, 25 grams of it yesterday and had a couple of bowls at the meet yesterday and um, I'm actually wishing now I'd, I'd get a bit more but um, it's got what I would say that classic pipe tobacco aroma to it and it's a lovely a lovely smoke It was a, a really nice meeting yesterday. I'd like to thank Steve and John and Alan for coming along. And they had a, a very enjoyable smoke and a, a good old chin wag. Managed to do my 100 sub draw yesterday. Um, unfortunately I timed it a bit wrong as uh, Unicorn Piper was doing his live giveaway at the same time so I missed I missed some of you. Um, I, trouble was where we were was trying to, I got the draw done pretty quick because with people coming into the smoking lounge I didn't really want to wait too long and then a lot of people come in and weren't happy with the video going so it sort of got a little bit, a little bit rushed I'm afraid. But uh, Congratulations to Pipe Puffy UK and on a double celebration yesterday. Not only is uh, was he there for the birth of a, a grandchild, he, he won the giveaway. And um, I hope you put the lottery on Alex because they always say thing good good things come in threes. So I'll check your numbers this morning. And um, Speaking of new births, uh, one of the chaps who came along yesterday decided to do his first ever YTPC video, so we'll be looking forward to seeing that getting uploaded soon. So we've got another another presenter on the boards. I had a bit of a Samuel Gowarth day yesterday. I got some more squadron leader. I picked up some of the chocolate flake, Bothy mixture, uh, Bothy flake rather, and the cabbies mixture. So I'm going to use them as a kind of guest tobacco for the next month. And um, so I'll sort of be choosing between one of the one of the three new ones to see what they like. Yeah, and as I passed the message on about the tobaccos, I was asking them yesterday, and um, the girl in the shop's taken taken the details, and she's going to give us a ring and see if they can get them for you. Um, unfortunately, they can't ship to you direct from their shop. So what I'll do is, if um, if they can get them in, just let us know what you want, and I'll pick them up for you. Now I'll, I'll get them shipped out to to where you are, and. Um, Hopefully we can we can get you sorted out with some of those. Um, for anybody who's sort of starting out presenting in the YTPC and. Obviously, you haven't really got 
all the gear, you know, nothing nothing fancy, etc. Um, I'd gone out yesterday without my selfie stick, so I just had to pop into one of the little sort of pound cheap shops while I was in Newcastle, and I was able to pick pick this tripod up, a pound, you know, and you know it's pretty good. It's you set the angle and. I mean, I just had this up, set up yesterday when I did my live drawing on the table. And I just realised this morning that it's got the extendable legs as well. So... So what I might do is... Because um, they had selfie sticks and things like that as well. What I might do is next time I'm, I'm up at Newcastle next month... I might pick some of these up and if there's any new presenters I might, you know, get some sent out to you and hopefully get you started. So it just proves you don't have to rush out and spend hundreds of pounds or dollars on fancy equipment for doing your presenting. I must have watched too much Blue Peter when I was a kid because I'm more of a sellotape and bubblegum sort of person. If I can't find what I want, I'll just cobble it together with whatever bits and pieces at the hand. One of the topics we were talking about yesterday was um, like pipe racks. And how much, you know, some of the ridiculous prices they're charging for. I mean, Karen got me one for my birthday. It holds six pipes and um, you know, I think with postage and everything, it's something like £30. And when you look at it, it's there's literally nothing nothing to it. And, I mean, I just, behind us there, I just cobbled together, you know, some, some pipe brackets and screwed them to the wood and, you know, I've stuck me... Your budget pipes in there and just start slaving beer all the time really so I was having a chat with my friend and I'm going to see about making a making a nice nice pipe rack for myself with a nice ashtray and pipe rest in the top so hopefully I can get that project off the ground soon I think because I've just done my 100 draw and I'm already over 200 now, I think what I might do is my next one will maybe be for 300 and then I'll do one for 500, etc. Because um, we seem to be powering through subscribers at the moment, so it just seems as if in a blink of an eye I already had 100. and It probably wasn't the best thing to, to do as a giveaway because I had to wait so long for one of the items. I mean, I'm already sort of thinking ahead of what what I would do for me, me 300 one, so I think I might have to get the items in pretty soon, and uh, at least I've got them in ready to to do a quick giveaway rather than, because unfortunately it was sort of like, you know, nearly two months I've had to wait to, to do my first draw. Very nice tobacco that. Very mild. I mean I had two bowls of this back to back yesterday and I think I started smoking it at about about half past one. 
and um, I think I got two balls in and about till about about quarter to five I think I think we got finished and, and packed up but yeah very nice afternoon Well, thank you for watching. I think I'm going to sit back and have a bit of a lazy Sunday and enjoy this smoke. And um, I'll speak to you all soon. Take care. I hope wherever you are, you're safe, you're well, and you're happy. And don't forget to load up, light up, and enjoy. Bye for now.